Hey guys, it's Rick with Try Harder Gaming, and I'm here to show you guys the Pagoda design I told you I was working on. Now, I am working not from paper this time, I don't really have a map. I'm kind of just going to play it by ear, see how things go. So, I have a basic design worked out that I did do on paper, and a very basic idea that I was playing around with in creative mode, but this time, I wanted to do something different and start building, you know. So let's get right to it. Uh, the basic design that I came up with is a square. So I'm going to, let's put that down first, just kind of make the square 21 by 21. 9, 10, and 10 the other way. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and now again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right, now I'll just kind of finish off the square, because why not? It is the next step. But, yeah, I uh, have been working on different little projects, different little things that I could do to kind of change, you know, what I do with Minecraft and stuff. So I can try to make it more things people want to watch, you know. I want to make it enjoyable for everyone. And so that's why I asked for suggestions and stuff for, for things that I can do that people want to see. I'm going to switch this back. I wanted to do blocks here. So what I'm doing now is just kind of crossing it in the middle so I can get a general idea of where the middle is, for one, or getting uh, know where it's at. And two, let's see, it should be about here, but let's just double check. And two, so that I can do kind of, I, wanna, I want it to appear supported, the building to appear supported. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ah, uh, so close, eleven. But, oh darn it. In fact, this is my second take of this episode because the first one I did had junk audio. So it happens. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to kind of keep going. But the last one that I did, I'm, I'm actually changing from that. So I'm still kind of evolving this whole build as I go along. But as I said, I kind of want to give it this supported look. Like, you know it's constructed sturdily because if you look into what a pagoda is it's essentially a tower of Japanese design of that oriental like curved nature to it and so what I wanted to do was kind of create uh, that essential tower and there's all sorts of philosophy involved in that tower's construction. For example, uh, when I was looking into it, uh, there there's like towers for the elements. There is so, for example, each floor and each tier, even on the spire of the tower, was uh, based on the elements uh, of earth, like uh, earth, wind, fire, water those elements. Not to be confused at all if you're a geek like me with hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen. <laughs> so and so I'm just gonna kinda pop up walls. I'll punch holes in them later. Uh just to see where things go. I'm not I uh, like I said I'm kinda playing this one by ear. It's not really a set design. It's more something I wanted to do and I'm probably gonna end up doing it in multiple parts so 
Uh, uh, how high do I want to go? Let's see, one, two, three, mm, four. Yeah, it's high enough, I think. Two, three, four. So, I want to try to have all of the inside at least three high. That's just kind of, I like space inside. What am I doing? I don't have, I don't use that. I want, I want, I, I think the, the, the cross through the middle there, the, the plus sign looks nice. It kind of offsets the room a little bit. So I'm going to leave it in. Just kind of fill in all the floor around it. In fact, I'm going to change again and just kind of wrap the whole thing in a different color. Like this. And just fill in between the squares. And later when I get to it, and I can show you, the roof design is kind of interesting. Um, unfortunately, I can't give credit to anyone because too many people have used it, but I, I made a design of my own I thought it was my own. Maybe I, I saw it and unconsciously held it in or something. And I was looking up pagodas on Google Images just for ideas and stuff. And one of the ones that came up was a Minecraft pagoda. And the problem with it is is that it was virtually the same exact roof design that I looked up. So I typed in uh, pagoda Minecraft and the next thing you know, virtually everyone has the same exact roof design and if I knew who made it first I would give them credit but unfortunately I do not so I'm I did put my own twist on it it is slightly different but in general it appears like everyone that's ever done a pagoda has virtually the same exact idea when it comes to a roof and that's that interested me. I don't, I don't know why we all did that, but they are all pretty damn close to the same, and that's probably because, if you think about it logically, there's only so many materials and so many different patterns that we can do with all square materials. To do a curved roof shape in Minecraft is almost impossible without building something extreme like you know 200 by 260 by you know insane numbers so since I'm not building that extreme this is a larger build but it is it is not that extreme of a build uh, it's not gonna appear perfectly round uh, or a perfect curve and as such you know it kind of makes sense that we would all come to the same general conclusion for how to do uh, the end of the roof so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of filling in the rest of these walls and speaking of filling in I am showing you guys all unedited footage all me start to finish building this thing and that's because the last episode that I did was me constructing a duplex and in that duplex build I did not show the basement and shortly after I put it out I got around to watching Mad Cat 6655's uh, 8x8 eight eight modern house and we got to the discussion of my lack of basement and I, I, I said you know people don't want to watch me just dig a hole in the ground and and construct something really simple I don't think and he had a discussion with one of his viewers and we kind of all talked about it to a degree of what do people want to watch and the conclusion we came to is we're pretty certain 
that if we were watching, we would want to see the whole project start to finish. And so I apologize to people if if you felt kind of, you know, like you were missing out on something when you watched the duplex build. But uh, when I built it, I, I didn't really think that anyone was missing out on anything. I figured that, you know, no one would want to see something as simple as a, a duplex thrown together. And as it turns out, I, I'm actually wrong on that account. Like, people do want to see, or not, not the duplex itself, but like, people do want to see the complexities that went into the project. People want to see that, you know, I, I am fallible and that, you know, these things can be made. I don't know, it was an interesting discussion of how to Minecraft build. So I'm still kind of going along and playing with this. We have a door now. It's a good start, huh? It's a good place to start. And I want to do windows. The way I designed windows for this place. Oh, that's a good start. And stairs. So I was playing around with different designs for windows and things. And I came to this conclusion. I really liked how this looked. And so did my roommate. Because I made it and I went, how does this look? And he goes, I like that. Well, then I... I that was uh, the design just before this one. It was a lot simpler than this one. And uh, I said, I like this better. Come check this out. So he comes and looks, and he agreed. He liked this one better. So all it is is uh, a 4 by uh, 4, or no, 4 by 3, 4 wide, 3 tall. And uh, place some stairs in each corner. Place a fence in kind of a plus shape through the middle. which I liked it and it even kind of still has that oriental feel which is nice it's a good thing so I'm gonna keep with that pattern and if I can count maybe uh, one two one two three it's not gonna be centered And I like being centered. Did I miscount? Maybe. <laughs> That's all right. From the outside, it should still look okay. Uh, maybe not. Well, we can fix that. Maybe three by three. Yeah, it'll still work. We'll just do it like this. I think that'll still look right. In fact, I almost like it better than the other design because it's more squared. But hey, that's just me. But <clears throat> I want people to actually uh, leave comments and suggestions for what I should build and things people want to see. and. I've gotten some comments. I, I try to read and reply to all of my comments. And I want to see what people say they want to see. You know, I want people to tell me what they want me to build, or, uh, what they like to watch, you know, what I should edit out. Make suggestions. I'm new to this. I mean, some direction would be great. Because you know, that's how you connect to viewers, is by listening to them. And I am willing to listen to you. That's all you have to do is send a comment or something. <laughs> so, and now I'm playing around with designs for the support inside. 
And what I'm going to do is probably, yeah, drop some glowstone. Brighten it up in here. And I'm going to raise that one in the center too. But first, let's finish off my sides. Darn it. Wrong color. There we go. But I'm kind of giving the illusion of support from the inside. You know, because obviously in Minecraft, support doesn't matter. If you have it, yay. If you don't, no one cares. <clears throat> so, because blocks float in the sky, like, you know, I can't even do it. Like that. <laughs> doesn't need any support. So, just the illusion of supports throughout this place is all that I really need. Kind of gives the room a little bit more shape and color. And I mean, I even like how uh, the uh, dark and light woods match together because they give even more to that illusion because it's kind of helping with the lighting even. Alright, so the way I did this, I guess, was one, two, one, two, three. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I bet it fits the outside in the center, just not the inside. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. So I'll have to do the same here. One, two, three. There we go. So outside it looks more symmetrical than it does inside, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> business. Uh, I need to tell everyone that I am using the Sortex Fanver uh, resource pack again. And that's because I like to give credit where credit is due. And this is by far my favorite resource pack so far. I I think it's well designed. The textures don't, you know, hurt my eyes or anything. Because some of the resource packs that I was looking at recently, because I have been looking at different packs to change. In fact, for the, the Oriental build here, I was looking at something called WooCraft, which advertises itself as an Oriental building style. It tells you, you know, right down to the treasure chest being ornate, that it is an oriental build uh, texture. So I looked at it. I looked into it. I, I had it on for a little while, and I realized I was getting a headache. And that's because whoever designed it didn't realize the limitations of Minecraft and, and maybe it's just me, I don't know, but even with high textures and everything else, I was getting a headache sitting there playing it because of the fact that it had too many lines through it and it was jumping around. So I, I just didn't like it. It wasn't fitting with me. So I switched back to my old standby, Sortex. Uh, I'm not a big fan, personally, of the default anymore. I, I used to love it. And then I got used to texture packs or resource packs because, I don't know, they make it look a little nicer, a little cleaner. So maybe I'm spoiled now. I, I, can, I can stand the default texture pack, though. This one, I don't know what it was. It started out great. And the next thing you know, I was starting to get a headache just kind of staring at all the different lines through something. And maybe at the end of this, I'll, I'll check it all out in that texture pack or resource pack uh, terminology. But for now, I think I'll just kind of stick with what I've got. So, all right, that's not too bad, I don't think. 
So we've got our first little room built up. And probably one of these windows is going to get covered up because I'm going to put stairs up. But let's get started on the second floor, huh? So where do I want to start with this? Same place? No. Now let's do things a little differently. Let's build this up one higher yet. Make the ceiling nice and high. Right. Or no, I guess that works for a ceiling, huh? Well, what I was going to do... Ooh, I have a better idea. Let's go with stone. Is just kind of trace this next one in stone. I guess the locations of those don't matter too much. Oop. Come on. <sighs> Little lag, and the next thing you know, I'm dropping down to the ground. And, uh, I was going to do this in survival and I was going to work on the project a little bit more this weekend but I went to log on earlier today and all of Minecraft is down I can't get on to the website at all so yeah that plans out uh, a little update we are still clear cutting and that's because it's huge the dimensions are 186 by 291 for the city walls and castle wall, uh, outer wall. So, yeah, clear cutting that whole area has been quite the the task, and as such, uh, we're we're a little bit behind in putting it all together. Um, we enlisted the help of a lot of people on our server, all of whom will be named in our next video. Uh, we definitely, of course, want to, once again, give credit where credit is due. And everyone that helps us with our project, we're, of course, naming. But we still have the contest going on. I uh, haven't gotten a lot of comments on our joint video for name recommendations. So... Still waiting to hear back on what we're going to call the castle, but right now we are still in the process of clear cutting, and we're probably going to make another, <clears throat> you know, what's going on video here pretty soon. This weekend, I know uh, Mad Cat has his son, so I don't want to interrupt him today. I want him to go have fun with his son, relax while he can, and I understand what it's like to be busy and Minecraft comes last, you know. So, in fact, I had a very busy week this week with exams for classes, and so I completely understand. People have lives, and it's one thing to do these things in creative mode where we could be done easily within a day with this huge project you know two days at max with a group of people but to do it in survival where it takes a lot of work just to stay alive and then on top of that we're adding a huge project you know this massive project is you know it, it's a different story altogether you're gonna have to focus a lot more time on the project and that means unfortunately for you guys a lot of waiting and perhaps we should have waited to announce this project but it was my channel's kind of breakout announcement because when I first got into the idea of doing YouTube that's what Mad Cat and I came up with was some way to have me start with him and kind of break out 
from there. So, and we have a lot of fun playing together. We have a lot of people on the server that have a lot of fun joining us, including our server owner has even asked if he could help with our project. So we're almost enlisting the whole server just for assistance in clear cutting. And I think it's going to end up being this awesome community project that uh, we're going to all be able to put up on YouTube and go, hey, look, look what we all did together. This is this is some awesome stuff. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens next, see where things end up. It's going to be fun. But all right, let's take a step back and look at this, see what it looks like. So I've I've went in a couple of times with these these wood pillars. And the reason being is from what I can tell in terms of the actual architecture of Japanese pagodas, they they most of them, not all, most tier upward. So they kind of go, you know, start really wide you know, narrow as they go up. So I'm going to stick with that idea. I liked it. It's not that hard. I mean, especially knowing the dimensions of the outside that I'm starting with. Going from 21 means that next internal will be 19, going down to 17, and just even, or odd numbers the whole way down. So. But I want to, you know, not necessarily maintain authentics, but at least try to do something uh, unique or, or try to make it look a little neat. Because I think following the general ideas of that which I'm basing the project on will be nicer to look at. Uh oh. Ta da. Alright, so that kind of pokes through, huh? Well, they all kind of poke through. I don't think that's a bad thing, but. I don't know. Does that look tacky? It kind of looks tacky. Okay, so don't look up there. <laughs> Maybe I'll put up another glowstone or something to cover that hole. Or that uh, wood. I don't know. I'll think of something. For now, let's keep going. want to at least get some glowstone in here so the room stays nice and bright. And I know that's not very nice to people in survival mode, and I apologize. It's not always the easiest, especially on large servers, to get all the materials that you need for these projects, but hopefully the project will inspire you to change it in some way to fit your needs as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the wall there. So what do we got? We got stone. Let's put up stone all the way. I like the, way, the look of stone in this resource pack. <clears throat> I just think it looks really neat. something different at least. This is a very smooth texture for stone. And the only reason I don't like using wool is because when I pop it down you see all the little stitch lines and stuff. And while that's really neat thinking that we are making, you know, essentially a m meter cubed of wool, while it's really neat and all, 
it just I don't know it, it, I, I don't like how it looks personally so I'm being really picky today I apologize <laughs> But, alright. So I'm going to finish these off real quick. And I'm going to stick with spruce wood stairs. Pop in stairs, pop in stairs. Pop in a window. And you know what? After I finish this one here, I think that's a good place to stop, at least for this video. And leave it for part two. So what I would like from people is to leave some comments and suggestions. Let's get a quick overview of that wall. We don't have any of the roof built yet, but uh, yeah, I'm going to end part one here. And let me know what you think so far, suggestions on how to change it. I mean, let's have some fun together. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.